Well, Merry Christmas 2018. It's Tubal Cain, Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher. And it's Christmas here in the workshop. And you just saw me unbox a wonderful present from KBC Tools. And it's a Milwaukee uh, bandsaw. One of the small battery operated ones. Now recently, AVE did a test on one of these, and that's totally coincidental. I already had this one ordered at the time, so I'm not in competition with him. And I'm a little different than, than him because, you know, I'm not going to immediately smash this or take it apart. I'm actually going to use it. So, And Merry Christmas to AVE, and we know one another, so we're not really in competition. just having a little fun here. So let's take a look at this saw. As you know, I've been beating this subject to death, and I've done an exhaustive series here on metal cutting band saws, and there's still more to come on converting that delta saw into a metal cutting saw, which was a bit of a failure, but I've got more coming on that that I think will be a success. But one of the next videos that I was going to make, and now I scrapped those plans, and that was to take my porter band here. This is a Black & Decker. I've had this since the beginning of time. And I was going to set this up in a vertical position to make a little uh, vertical uh, saw out of it. But yet, so many people have done that. And Randy Richard in the shop just completed a very nice one, and, and uh, others as well. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, because it's just too repetitive, but in, instead I'm kind of a launching a, a little mini-series on uh, this Milwaukee. And you'll see me use this from time to time. My hopes is that I can also use it on the lathe as a cutoff. Now whether or not that's going to work, I do not know. Now this Milwaukee saw, it, it's not a cheap saw. Matter of fact, it was a little bit cheaper. That, uh, and Michelle told me to buy the whole kit rather than individual because the batteries are killers, you know, on these uh, on these tools, the, the little lithium battery here. But this is really designed for tradesmen like electricians, plumbers, and burglars. But I'm going to try using it in the machine shop. The first thing I have to do, of course, is to charge the battery. Now, there is a charge in the battery, but I don't really know how much of a charge. A bandsaw blade was included in the kit as was the charger and then I ordered three extra blades as well and there's an electrician using it on conduit so it's really supposed to be great for conduit. I understand there are other companies that make this and I think it was a Hilti that AVE uh, talked about and showed in his video so I'll be back after lunch when I get this battery fully charged. All right, it's been a couple hours, and nowhere on the advertising literature does it talk about the voltage, although I believe it's 12 volt, at least that's what it says on the back of the battery. But, the, you know, they give you all kinds of useless information here, like uh, durability and, uh, and performance and, and, and all of that Madison Avenue stuff. But the green light is on, it's fully charged, and it's lithium. My question is this, and not just toward Milwaukee, but just how much energy can really be stored in a battery this size. Let me get off the subject here. I went to the Chicago Auto Show at McCormick Place last year. I looked at hybrids, not to buy one. I was just looking at them. I asked the salesman and a woman. There were two different ones. One had high heels on. Guess which one? Anyway, no matter what you ask them, what they do is they carry around with them a laptop. Not a laptop, a pad, a pad. No matter what you ask them, they look it up. Because actually they're models, they don't know anything. So I asked where the battery was. They didn't even know where the battery was. Finally we found it, it's underneath the seat. And then when I got home I looked up pictures. You know, those batteries aren't much bigger than an attaché case. So, you know, if, if you want a lot of energy stored, you've got to have big batteries. And they're not doing that with the tools. And that reduces the weight. This whole thing only weighs five pounds. And I'm not really being critical here. I just want to talk about this a little bit. And I don't know what the blade speed is, but when I checked it with this, it overran, it was over 150. Nowhere here do they tell you anything about the blade speed. Well, this is all done by Madison Avenue. You know, their, their last account might have been for pantyhose or cigarettes, but here they're showing it being used to cut off conduit 
and here a strut that's electrical work also now would a plumber use it for copper I, I don't know and that's no test at all that could be balsa wood it's so soft and here a piece of threaded rod so you can see that it's aimed toward tradesmen certainly not machinists this is one half inch EMT let's see how it will do remember it's only a one and five eighths capacity and that's pretty amazing now three quarter inch rigid conduit well that's pretty soft but that's still a handy way to cut now it's going to leave a burr as compared to a copper tubing cutter but it's not going to crimp the end and reduce the ID like a copper tubing cutter does here's a piece of threaded rod and the last guy that cut it off cut it off with a torch he was so desperate and that worked quite nicely 18 tooth per inch blade brand new I'm a man for all seasons and right behind my bench here on the tool rack there are eight count them eight hacksaws and I use them often and each one not each one but there are all are different length blades and different pitch blades and even a carbide blade and and so on so in other words I got a saw for no matter what I'm doing and they're always sharp blades because I probably got 400 hacksaw blades here so that's what I reach for but now that I'm a septuagenarian if I can say the word and I'm lacking body strength uh, I'm thinking about hanging the little Milwaukee right here and grabbing that right next to the vise here when I have a quick saw job I very often saw my work off in the lathe. Always protect your lathe bed, by the way. It's faster, and I really like it better in most cases than a cutoff tool. But that's, of course, arguable. But I don't show this very often because the safety Nazis hate it when I use a hacksaw on the lathe. They want me to do it left-handed, which I can't do anything left-handed. And, you know, and it is a dangerous operation. I'm not saying it isn't. I don't even recommend you do it. But the whole idea was that I want to use this little Milwaukee saw to, to do some of that cutoff work. So is it going to perform? And in the past, I have used that Black & Decker corded uh, porter band. I, porter band, I know that's a trademark, but I'm just using it. Uh, but it's a pain in the neck to use because you have to plug it in. And it's kind of heavy. You know, this only weighs about five pounds. And hopefully with a lithium battery, it'll always be ready to go. You know, I very much disliked older battery tools that, that wouldn't hold their charge. But when, when using this now, and this is really the second time that I tried this, but as far as I understand, and the way, my way of thinking, I need to run the machine in reverse rather than forward. But maybe it'll work that way too. And I'm in back here, so let me try a cut here and see what it looks like. I'm avoiding oil from uh, at least for now so that I don't get this all gunked up with oil on the little wheels and, and just make a mess but of course oil would preserve the life of the blade all right let's see what it'll do I'm running reverse didn't take a long. Let me see what it looks like here in regards to the finish. Of course it needs to be faced off, probably, depending on what the job is, but it looks pretty darn good. Now that's half inch rod. Now let me try it again. I just did one in forward, forward, but I'll do it again. It doesn't really seem to make much difference. I am in back ears at about four or five hundred RPM. And again, that's only half inch cold rolled steel. That really made fast work, didn't it? One thing I noticed on this that I cannot get too close to the chuck because of uh, 
just the construction of this. So I am a little bit out from the chuck here, a couple inches, as you can see, for that reason. Well, that completes this video. I just wanted to show you my new Christmas present from KBC Tools, the Milwaukee M12, and the mini saw. Hope you liked the video. You can expect to see a lot more of this in uh, future videos, and I do not intend to take it apart, like, you know, our good buddy up in Canada. <laughs> All right, this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now, and uh, leave some comments in regards to what you think of using this on a lathe. So long for now.